Now at 5.30, a sign of solidarity with Ukraine. President Biden making an unannounced visit overseas. He shook hand with Ukraine's president after unveiling an award plaque in Biden's honor. Thanks for joining us at 5.30. I'm Adrian Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. The president's visit comes days before the first anniversary of Russia's invasion. Nicole D'Antonio explains what the U.S. is doing next to support Ukraine. President Biden's unannounced visit to Kyiv comes as Russia's invasion enters its second year this week. Putin's war of conquest is failing. Russia's military has lost half its territory it once occupied. The president spent more than five hours at the Ukrainian capital meeting with President Vladimir Zelensky to talk about the next steps in the war, including newly announced plans to send Ukraine nearly half a billion dollars in additional U.S. military equipment. I thought it was critical that there would not be any doubt, none whatsoever, about U.S. support for Ukraine. Thank you for your leadership. Thanks, bipartisan support. Thanks. Congress. The two leaders took time to honor Ukraine's fallen soldiers. At one point during the tour, air raid sirens sounded, giving President Biden a sense of what Ukrainians endure every day across their war-torn country. The Americans stand with you and the world stands with you. Kyiv has captured a part of my heart, I must say. Here in the U.S., while some Republicans commended the president for his visit to Kyiv, others were critical. Representative Scott Perry of Pennsylvania tweeted, breathtaking that President Biden can show up in Ukraine to ensure their border is secure, but can't do the same for America. After the visit, President Biden traveled to Poland for talks with its president and other Eastern European allies. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, the White House.